Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronics for Gate by Kota Venkanna. Mobile number 630-5826909. Today I want to discuss the topic characteristics of UHF lines or Describe the characteristics of UHF lines or UHF lines. UHF is ultra high frequency lines. Ultra high frequency lines. So here UHF ultra high frequency lines. The range of frequency between 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. This range of frequency is known as ultra high frequency lines so the general uh, equivalent circuit diagram for the transmission lines is R, L, these two are in series and the G transconductance and capacitance these two are in parallel this is the basic uh, equivalent circuit diagram for the transmission lines but here UHF lines uh, which consists of uh, omega L, omega L more than resistance and omega C more than conductance. So that's why the resultant, the resultant equal circuit diagram becomes uh, L parallel with C and L parallel with C and L parallel with C. This is the equivalent uh, circuit diagram for the UHF transmission lines. Why? Because omega L. L is very much greater than R. So that's why R is neglected. And here uh, omega C very much greater than G. So that's why G is neglected. Then we have to find out the propagation constant equation. P. Propagation constant P is equal to alpha plus J beta. Alpha is the attenuation constant and beta is the phase shift. So that equation is equal to square root of R plus J omega L into G plus J omega C. So in this equation J omega L is taken as common. Then square root of J omega L. J omega L by J omega L. J omega L by J omega L. 1. 1 plus R by J omega L and uh, here we have to take uh, J omega C is common. J omega C by J omega C 1 plus G by J omega C. So J omega L into J omega C. First I have to write square root of J omega L into J omega C of 1 plus R by J omega L into 1 plus G by J omega C. So here P is equal to alpha plus J beta is equal to square root of J omega L into J omega C of 1 plus R by J omega L. This is J omega L plus 1 plus G by J omega C. So then J omega L into J omega L. So J omega square into LC. So that's why J omega is coming out of square key root to both are cancel. So that's why J omega into square root of LC of 1 plus R by J omega L square root. Square root is 1. That is written as 1 power 1 by 2. And uh, into 1 plus g by j omega c whole power 1 by 2. So here from the binomial theorem, binomial theorem 1 plus x whole power n that is written as 1 plus n into x plus uh, n of n minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square so on. So that's why these two equations, these two terms are written in terms of binomial equations. Then alpha plus j beta is equal to 
j omega square root of lc of 1 plus r by these two this equation 1 plus r by j omega l 1 by 2 this is written in terms of binomial equation then this term becomes 1 plus r by 2 j omega l plus and so on so here higher order terms are neglected we are written only two terms higher order terms are neglected so why because the terms are equal to 1 so that's why these are neglected so that's why are equal to 0 1 plus r by 2j omega l of this term also written in terms of binomial equations and higher order terms must be equal to higher order terms must be equal just equal to 0 so that's why neglecting so then 1 plus g by 2j omega c so 1 by 2 is the 1 by 2 n is equal to 1 by 2 so that's why in the place of n I am written 1 by 2 so that's why g by 2j omega c so here neglecting higher order terms then the above equation becomes uh, j omega of um, square root of lc of 1 plus r by j2 omega l plus uh, g by j2 omega c so then multiply multiply this with uh, j omega square root of lc j omega square root of lc into 1 that is j omega square root of lc plus r by j2 omega l into j omega square root of lc plus g by j2 omega c into j omega square root of lc so here in this equation j omega j omega both are cancel here also j omega j omega both are cancel the remaining value j omega square root of lc plus r by 2l into square root of lc plus g by 2c into square root of lc so this equation is written as complex equation then real value plus imaginary value so real value this equal j is there here j is there that's why this equation this term is imaginary term by comparing alpha plus j beta that is p is equal to propagation constant p is equal to alpha plus j beta by comparing these two equations so real part in this real part alpha is equal to in this real part alpha so in this beta beta is the imaginary part in this beta equal to uh, omega square root of lc that is omega so here imaginary part beta is equal to omega into square root of lc so alpha is equal to real part alpha is equal to r by 2l into square root of lc plus g by 2c into square root of lc so here alpha plus j beta is equal to r by 2l square root of lc plus g by 2c square root of lc plus j omega square root of lc so here this part is the real part this part is imaginary part <coughs> in this uh, both sides equal equating both sides uh, the real part the real part alpha is equal to, alpha is equal to r by 2 l to square root of lc plus g by 2 c square root of lc and imaginary part uh, these two are equal then uh, j j both are cancel j beta is equal to omega into square root of lc so phase shift in the uhf lines phase shift beta is equal to omega into square root of lc and real part alpha is equal to r by 2 l into square root of lc plus g by 2 c to square root of lc so here this is written as square root of l square root of l uh, L is written as uh, here L L normal L is written as uh, square root of L into square root of L so that's why here 
L L square root L root L both are cancel. The remaining value is R by two into square root of C by L plus G by two into square root of L by C. So this is the alpha alternation constant value in the UHF lines. And uh, characteristic inference J naught is equal to square root of R plus J omega L by G plus J omega C. Here omega L both very much greater than R and omega C very much greater than G. So that's why R approximately equal to zero, G approximately equal to zero. So that's why J naught is equal to square root of zero plus J omega L by zero plus J omega C. So J omega J omega both are cancel. The remaining value is square root of L by C. So that's why characteristic impedance J naught is equal to square root of L by C. So in L by C equation, substitute square root of L by C substitute value in the place of square root of L by C. We have to substitute J naught in the alpha equation. Then that is alpha is equal to in terms of J naught R by 2 J naught plus G by 2 into J naught. So this is the characteristics of UHF lines. Are described the characteristics of UHF lines. So the topic is over. And for daily classes and for any updates, subscribe my channel. My channel name is Electronics for Gate by Kota Venkarna. My mobile number six three zero five eight two six nine zero nine. So I have more than ten years of teaching experience in engineering college. Thank you.